Oh yeah. Awesome. I just see all this being problematic. Like, is getting all these electronics. I just don't see. I see these things being a nightmare at ten thousand hours. Welcome to the Almond Landscape YouTube channel. Our goal is to help you become better landscape contractors, business people, landscape designers, whatever. Today we're going to talk about the oh, Cat 313 excavator we had on rent. Going to talk about a few little things uh, and some fun stuff about it. So here we go. So 313 in the Cat world, the 13. So three is the series, which is excavator series. Nine is like a front end loader. So 900 series, all, so that's all the cat stuff. 313 is a 13 ton unit. Um, this unit is steel tracked, no thumb on it. That was a real pain in the butt because I need to move all these swamp mats around and I had to fumble around with them, that sucked. Uh, get a thumb on these when you're doing that kind of work. Um, big tall machine, big pretty uh, awesome thing. I love that dual window, that was actually really handy. I got my step and my granny bar here. Uh, a couple of things too. We're going to talk about how to switch out the buckets and all that because that took me a minute to get used to. This switch here, cool. Launch and gauge. There we go. I really like this machine. I really like my little Cabelco over there. Um, a lot of a lot of cool little things with it. We'll shut the door here. Hey. Okay. That dual sliding is nice. That's cool. Great big sunroof there for those days that, when you're cruising down the strip in Malibu there. The window, this thing needed some lube. It was a little rough, but that's the only issue. Some white lithium in there would make a world of difference. Wish this thing had a hard hat, hat rack thing in here. I couldn't, maybe just putting a hook on that back here. Lots of storage up there. That's really cool. Uh, some mud on the ceiling. Can't imagine where that came from. This screen is amazing. This is really cool too. Lots of moving around here, folks. Sorry, bear with me. Um, but uh, you can put your armrest down and your machine is not live still. Now it's live. Live, not live. And a safety thing, anytime somebody comes up to talk to you or whatever, just disengage this stupid thing. There's no reason to be talking to somebody with a live machine. You never know when you bump it and you kill someone. These bigger excavators have such incredible power at just... The, the mechanical advantage is just absolutely wild, right? So that was really cool. I, I like that. It's kind of a pain to an extent, and then you get used to it. It's all right. So that part is cool. Uh, this screen, the cameras, which you really need because the butt of this thing is so big, you can't really see much going on. Um, a handful of things here. Let's show how to switch out buckets real quick because this is something I struggled with for a minute. I couldn't figure out why the alarm wouldn't shut off. So we're going to hit our... Um, that's also hold that down that takes you out of eco mode or sets it into eco mode and i'm doing this so to switch buckets like i said i'm holding the phone and recording you're going to cur curl this thing all the way in you're going to hit this unit here now you're going to hear it click and see it click Woo! and uh now you're free of the bucket right so okay see there you go this alarm goes no matter what so unless you shut it off you know there's uh this is really hard to do one-handed so bear with me but now we're gonna pick this thing up and if we switch buckets or whatever by the way get a get a much bigger ditching bucket like that one's too small for what i was doing out here now what we're gonna do we're gonna hit this switch again i hate those switches <coughs> But now we're going to hold this in until it does that. Your quick couple is now done. And you want to test it, make sure you're good and safe, all that. But for the longest time, I get this thing hooked up, and I couldn't figure out why the buzzer wouldn't hold off. But I wasn't holding this in the whole time. So you got to hold that control lever clear in the whole daggone time. Um, couple things that took me a little while to, to learn and all that you got all your fancy stuff here and I'm sure there's higher trim packages whatever oh so you got quick recall of things uh, that was kind of cool so if you want your music this will bring up your music situation hit your home button that brings you back here um, then to get into other controls you kind of get into other touchscreen stuff and 
changing your operator grade this does the grade control whoops all this kind of stuff also uh electronic fence so if you have like we had a power or a, a, a coax line out there you can set this thing to warn you and probably shut you down even from going certain heights or even certain distances from wherever you're operating out of target depth target slopes all sorts of amazing technology uh instagram channel called tech sandbox it's like technology sandbox did some stuff with caterpillar talking about all these things uh you can access training videos through here through a qr code to watch um on a handful of different things that's really cool uh 313 got a tremendous amount of reach um that's really cool other than that wish i wish i had got rented it with a thumb but if you buy a machine or whatever you upgrade if nothing else get hydraulic quick connect if you can't do till rotator because that hydraulic quick connect it allows you to you know, instead of driving pins out and all that that is worth the money being able to switch out of attachments and stuff absolutely huge um this is also your a walking uh option here so you take that pin out and if you just need to creep forward with both pedals just a little bit you would hit that pedal there otherwise you're going to walk you know normal here i'm going to go backwards um you're going to walk you know normal here with those your foot rests that's all kind of cool do a quick walk around the touchscreen stuff is cool yeah so there's your grade control isn't that amazing um just so much amazing stuff i'm just gonna hit my home button real quick for reference uh your windshield wiper there's so much awesome stuff in this machine but one of the bad things is getting all these electronics i just don't see i see these things being a nightmare at ten thousand hours right like this um just this latch thing here it comes down off and then it's got to catch i just see all this being problematic like one branch comes in and rips off this thing it could stand, by the way, to have more act, more coverage or the windshield wiper. That kind of sucks. Uh, coming around, you got your fuel tank up here. This seems to be one of the better fuel lid designs. That's a nice and easy. We're full. I think, anyway. I filled it up the other day. But what locks it in is just that right there. Oop. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's see if this is locked or not woken this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Awesome. Shiny new. I don't know what's in there. Death. Boom. That's your hydraulic reservoir, right? And you want to watch too, you don't, these things have set arrangements for the boom to test the, oh, well, that's how it wants it to sit, right here. That's how that thing needs to set, so you know the accurate reading, because otherwise if it's all stretched out, you're pulling all that hydrofluid out and it might look like it's low. Oh no, hit, who hit spoils pile? I don't know. Um, pull that giant logo off there, put your own on there. Cat spends a billion dollars a year to figure out what the best logo opportunities are on these things. So you need to advertise for your company, not theirs, unless they're paying you to. Man, there's a lot of wind blowing. That's crazy. Like an actual breeze. So, uh, other than that, it's been a fun machine to run. You get this size bucket on here, and that thing will really hog some material, man. Um, let's see here. Yeah, they're really getting less trouble when I return this. Uh, what size was this bad boy? Corsac got smashed. That's a one yard bucket. Yeah, cool. So that thing will really move some material. And then this little guy here, it's a three quarter yard bucket. But you heap that, you can probably get 1.3 yards, I bet, easy. And boy, when we were moving material, it would really get with it. So that was really cool. Um, but yeah. That's that. That's your Cat 313 quick overview. Just a beautiful, fun machine to run. I like the cat stuff. So with that being said, enjoy.